friends. My date for the afternoon. You're 20 minutes late. Sorry. You hear that? He says he's sorry. You think I should marry a man who's late for his appointment? She's proposing again. Only for the 17th time. Well, you waited all your life for the perfect maid. What's 20 minutes more? You should get over that inferiority complex. What's wrong? Nothing. I didn't get much sleep last night. Or the night before, or the night before that. Why don't you see your doctor? Or get some sleeping pills. That may help. Wouldn't do any good. Well, let's get some lunch. You haven't got much time left on your lunch hour. There's no rush. Why, did they make you the boss or something? I quit the other day. You didn't tell me that. You said that this job was your big chance in electronics so that you could develop some of your own ideas. You said it was the kind of security you wanted for us to get married. I know what I said. Be a little patient with me, honey. Please. How could I explain when I myself couldn't understand it? To dream about a woman night after night, a woman I'd never met, never seen before. And with each dream, she became more real, more alive, until it seemed that if my hand reached out, I could have touched her. Some will stronger than my own brought me here. Nothing was familiar to me. I'd never been here before, and yet I wasn't lost. An unknown force was guiding my steps, leading me to this courtyard. There was something here that was drawing me close, like a magnet. I could feel it pulling me closer, closer. And then, I saw it. That's it. Hmm? That face, it's the same face of the woman who comes to me in my dreams. It's fantastic. Oh, darling, it's probably just a coincidence. That's she, all right. Well, then let's go inside and see who posed for it. More than likely, it's someone you know, and that would explain everything. Hmm? Well, Mr. Turner, I have the doll ready for you. You... You know my name? Oh, I pride myself on my memory. You left your name when you in this picture for the portrait doll. Remarkable resemblance, don't you think? Uh, yes, yes. But there must be some mistake. Mistake? Oh, I don't think so. Let me check your order. Excuse me. Don, I didn't bring that photo in. He just mistook you for someone else. I don't understand this. First I dream of a face, then I see that face on a doll. Now I'm told I brought that photo in. <laughs> You're making too much out of it, Rick. There's just been a misunderstanding somewhere. But he knew my name. Do you walk in your sleep? No, and I'm not leading a double life. What are you trying to convince? Me or yourself? Would I have brought you here if I were? Only kidding, Rick. Don't be so touchy. You'll see. There's a perfectly logical explanation for all this. Some of your friends have weird ideas of humor. Maybe one of them is playing a... Rick, that's me. It sure looks like you. It is me. Where do you get these ideas? What are you talking about? The doll, of course. Honestly, Rick, it was sweet of you to have it made for me. 
But why all the mystery? You went through so much trouble just to make it a surprise. Donna, I didn't order this doll. Darling, you must have. And I'm telling you, I didn't the order it. instructions are all checked, Mr. Turner. Everything is exactly as you wanted it. Should I wrap it or send it to Miss Bianca Milan? That one, the lady in the photograph. Take a good look at this picture and Miss Trent here. Mm, yes, I see what you mean. There is a slight resemblance. Slight? That's me. Merely a coincidence. I know the lady who brought this photo in. Look, Mr. Uh, uh, Lamont, Francis Lamont. Mr. Lamont, there must be some mistake. I didn't bring in any photo. I didn't order any doll. In fact, I've never even been in here before. If you say so, sir, perhaps I was mistaken. It's paid for, so I'll send it to Miss Milan. Rick, if you're playing some sort of a game, I don't find it very amusing. So let's take my doll and leave. <laughs> Donna, I... Look, just wrap this one up. I'll take this doll. Now, this one, I'm afraid, is not for sale. If you'd care to leave a... Photo, I'd be happy to make one up for this young lady. But she is the lady. No, sir. She is not. Come on, Rick. Let's go. They're looking at me. I don't understand this. Rick. Well, what is it? Oh, help me. Take it easy. I just had Dr. Moore corroborate my diagnosis. It's a coronary condition, a muscle spasm of the heart. Well, how bad is it? Well, it's hard to say at this stage. Frankly, her symptoms are a bit puzzling. It all happened so, so fast. It usually does, Mr. Turner. Now, you try not to worry. We're doing everything possible for her. Right now, she's resting quietly under sedation. You better try to get some sleep yourself. You'll be able to see her tomorrow. Thanks, Doc.
Now, you're not to get excited. But I always get excited when I see Rick. Well, I don't blame you. He's quite a man. You have three minutes, Mr. Turner. How do you feel? Like a steamroller hit me. Well, that makes two of us. You didn't tell me before you had trouble. With your heart, I mean. I didn't. Until I fell in love with you. That will teach me never to be jealous again. Well, that'll be a help. Oh? What are you planning? I'm not supposed to get you excited. Tell me, Rick. Yesterday I told you I didn't know any more about those dolls than you do. Yes. That was the truth, Donna. Last night I had another dream, vision, whatever the devil you want to call it. The same girl? Only this time she spoke to me. She said if I wanted to find the answer to all this, all I had to do was bring the doll to her. Why isn't she helpful? Well, I've got to see her, don't you see? I've got to find out whether she's real or not. Once and for all, I've got to get this thing off my back. I know you have to see her, darling. I guess I can't help acting like a woman. You've been honest with me, and I do believe you, but... But what? Please be careful. I mean it, Rick. There's more to it than just, well, call it premonition or woman's intuition, if you like, but I'm afraid. Of what? I'm afraid I'm going to lose you. To a dream? To a dream that might be real. You're the only real thing in my life. Rick, I love you so. Who prescribed that? Best medicine in the world. Good for whatever ails you. When I think of the time I've wasted on vitamin pills. Take care of yourself, darling. I'll see you soon. Rick, be careful of the dog. Mr. Turner, I do hope I wasn't indiscreet yesterday. No, no. Miss Trent, the young lady who was with me, was just a little upset at seeing her photograph and that, that doll. Of course. May I see the name on the back of that photograph? The one you think is Miss Trent? Yes. I'm sorry, but the doll and picture were picked up by the owner this morning. Oh. Well, then I'll take that other doll, the one of Miss... Bianca Milan? I anticipated your coming back. How much do I owe you? You paid me when you placed the order. Did I? In full. Good day, Mr. Turner. Yeah. Resemblance is amazing, don't you think? Mm. Shall we have a drink? I'd prefer a little conversation, like my questions and your answers. There's time, lots of it. Come, help me. It was 
our first drink together. We should mark the occasion with a toast. It's the first of many things together. Such as dreams and portrait dance. Mm. And the sweet mysteries of life. I hope you're hungry. I thought you might like to dine here. Just the two of us. My servant, Ammon, does very well with Occidental dishes. You may serve us now, Ammon. Ammon cannot speak. I'm a little speechless myself. I found him in Tibet. He belonged to an ancient cult of worshippers who believe sacrifice brings immortality. His tongue was his sacrifice. The world has many strange religions. Forgive me for being so persistent, but what made you so sure I was coming here tonight? I invited you and you accepted. Let's be more specific. I'm here for just one reason. I know why you're here, Rick. Then you know about the dreams. Naturally. It's a simple process of thought projection or a thought transfer. Thought projection? You're telling me that you danced and talked to me from, from this apartment and I received your image and voice in my room? You doubt me? Of course not. I'll get you the number of a good psychiatrist. Maybe I'm a little dense, but I, I don't understand all of this. What puzzles you? Well, for one thing, why me? You appeal to me. Why does a woman with your attributes have to go to these extremes to have a man visit her? Why didn't you just whistle or something? Would you have answered? Perhaps not. But then I'm going to be married. There's your answer, then. I had to condition you, wear down your resistance. Make you want me. So I visited you through mental projection. You may not admit it, but I am firmly planted in your subconscious. Could be. But what's so special about me that put you to so much trouble? I saw you, I wanted you. That made you special. We can't always have everything we want. I can. This, uh... This thought projection, is it a special power you have, or can anyone play? Will you prepare a drink for Mr. Turner and myself, Amit? Relax, Rick. Make yourself comfortable. Recognize him? Me? It helps in concentrating to have the image of the person to whom one's thoughts are directed. Who gave you the recipe, Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde? You're amused. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll take you seriously, I promise. Tastes like devil's brew. I can bridge any distance between us. No matter how great or how small, concentration is essential. I can tell when I've made contact with you, when my thoughts and my image have reached you. Just relax and close your eyes while I concentrate. Open your eyes, Rick. You can see me quite clearly now. 
Tell me what you see. I see. I see through you. You're transparent. You cast no shadow, no reflection. There are disturbances around you. Wind, thunder, lightning. You're not real. You're... You're... Turn around, Rick. I'm here behind you. You know? You're a she -do. A witch. You're evil. But beautiful. Fascinating. Listen, Rick. As I once was, you would not have looked at me. I was unhappy and lost until I discovered Gamba. Gamba? The devil god of evil. I belong to a cult that worships Gamba. You met the high executioner at the doll shop, Francis Lamont. He gave you this power of thought projection. It's more than that. I've been given the power to control my destiny. I've had everything life could offer until I saw you. I wanted you just as much as you want me now. You've already begun to forget Donna Trent. You really are a witch. She devil, whatever you are, I want you. You must become one of us first. Anything. You must take the oath to Gamba. Tomorrow. There's a meeting in progress. The high executioner will perform the rites at midnight. We must hurry. ceremony is underway. Good evening, Francis. Mr. Turner wishes to join us. I shall perform the rites after the sacrifice. Shall we go in? Our goddess of love. The anchor is our living image. somebody? 
not necessarily. But a human is going to be offered on the altar of sacrifice. And it's up to Gumba to decide. How does he make his decision? It's like Russian roulette. Except the odds are greater. Look up there. In our ceremony, we use a sword. Concealed in one of the covers hanging from the wheel. The wheel is spun. And Gamba makes his decision. The cover is lowered upon the heart of the subject. If the sword is in the cover, it pierces the heart. If Gamba decides to spare his subject, the cover bends harmlessly. Sounds like a million laughs. Did everybody get to play? No. The subject is selected when in doubt of his loyalty during his death period. Have you ever been... My loyalty has been proven. Worshippers of Gamba, the great devil god. Hear me well. Tonight is the first night of the full moon. The tides rise to their highest level and vibrations fill the air. It is a time for restlessness and madness. It is a time for death. For Gamba the Crescent. Gamba, the great devil god, commands that one of you tested. A human sacrifice must be offered. Only Gamba can determine whether a life will be taken. The judgment is his. Bring in the subject. Gamba, great devil god, ruler of man's destiny, we offer this lovely girl on the sacrificial altar. You alone, in your wisdom, will judge her. If she is unworthy, if her loyalty is in doubt, then she must be punished. But should she prove deserving and fit to serve you, your power alone will spare her. Gamba, highest executioner, supreme devil, god of evil, make your decision. Shall the maiden live or die? is all the girl lives. Oh, thank you, great Gamba. You 
have proven yourself well. It's our turn now. He has been informed of our code and beliefs? Yes, High Executioner. Kneel. Oh, great Gamba, we offer a new subject who has come to join us. During his trial period, watch him, study him, and then test him, oh, great devil god. Will you swear absolute allegiance to the great devil god, Gamba? I will. Will you follow his commands without question, though it means someone's destruction, even your own? I will. You will, above all else, seal your lips and swear yourself to secrecy. I will. You, his sponsor, will be held accountable. You accept this responsibility? I do. It is done. From this moment on, there is no turning back. You are one of us now, a member of the cult of the great devil god, Gamba. Guard this privilege well. Is, is that all? For now. A new life is going to begin for you, Rick. Take me home. believe, do you, darling? You have renounced goodness. Forsaken virtue. get over it. Yesterday you called me and said, buy every available share. Today it started to skyrocket. Last week you said, sell amalgamated industries. And the bottom dropped out. Just lucky, I guess. Something more than that. Someone is giving you some very valuable tips. Well, let's just say I have um, a good advisor. Goodbye, Mr. Bennett. Goodbye. your protege. He's passed every test so far. Not once has he weakened an attempted contact with Miss Trent. I never thought he would. Your confidence in him is quite admirable, my dear. I am a little surprised. At what? Well, this little romance of yours has lasted longer than the others. I've always come back to you, Francis. <laughs> of course. That's why I can afford to be so tolerant of your brief affairs. You will keep this one brief, won't you, my dear?
Your Rick will receive the loyalty test now. I hope he merits your belief in him. Well, if it isn't Rick Turner, Bianca's private property. Well, what are you doing here? I'm lost. This is the nearest bar. Looks like you've had enough already. Rick, I'm in trouble. Isn't there some place we can go and talk? Come on. What? Coffee's still hot. Would you like some? This is what I need. You better drink this. Sure. What's your problem? How do you get out, Rick? How do you get your soul back? Devil God Gombe's got your soul, too. Don't you want it back? You don't know what you're saying. You're drunk. Gotta get out of court, too. You've been sworn to secrecy. We all have. For your own sake, don't say anymore. Why? Did you tell on me? What well, makes you think I won't? I don't know the type. You don't belong in this any more than I do. You should have thought of that before you joined. Well, you don't know. They play with evil like it was some kind of a new toy. They cut all the goodness out of you and you forget what it's like to be kind. You become a robot without any will of your own. And the things they make you do. But suddenly, they don't have to make you do those things anymore. You do them because you want to. And then it's too late, because you're past all decency. Shut up. You're afraid. Not for me, but for yourself. Oh, I know the pattern well. Bianca has used hers for you, hasn't she? She's given you a taste of easy money and shown you what you'll be able to do when you receive these powers. Stop it. It's not worth it, Rick. Believe me, I know. I'd give anything to go back, to live again without fear. You'd better go. Out of here, I should never have listened to you. Go on, get out. I don't want to hear any more. Tell Miss Milan I'm here. That's it, isn't it? She'll be placed under the wheel. Bianca, I can't. You must. Have you forgotten your own loyalty, maybe, Jester? If you love me, you won't hesitate. Not for a minute. Darling, I took an oath with you, remember? If you don't report this girl, you place me in equal jeopardy. Rick, darling, I couldn't bear it not to see you again. Be here in a minute, darling. Just relax. All these dolls just staring at you. Frank is quite fanatic about them, especially his own. In his eyes, his doll is his soul. 
Gamber is pleased. You've done well, Rick. Hey, what is this? I give him my report to Mr. Lamont, and he's very satisfied. You mean this whole thing was a setup? Precisely. Well, you play some nice games. You may uh, wait for me in the other room. Let's go, Rick. Uh, Bianca, I don't wish to detain you, but if you'd give me just a moment more. Excuse me, darling. I thought it was the nurse. How do you feel? Fine. Nothing ever changes with me. But you. Okay. Where's Miss Frank? The nurse? Oh, she's off my case. I have a new one. Oh. Rick. I understand. not a very romantic prospect being tied down to an invalid. Donna, no, you don't understand. Please. It's enough that you came. Listen to me, Donna. You may not believe what I'm going to tell you. But at midnight tonight, you're going to be all right. Any discomfort you feel will disappear. Your strength will return. Your health will be restored. What makes you so sure? Just trust me. I know it's a hard thing to ask after what's happened, but... Trust me. I'll call you tomorrow. Dropping by, Francis. <laughs> My dear, you're an extraordinary woman, but a woman nevertheless. It took a lot of arranging to get Mary in as her nurse. It was for a purpose, wasn't it? It was, my dear. However, don't you think this relationship has reached its end? No. Visited this girl today, you think you're losing your hold on him? If I lose my hold on him, how can you hope to keep yours? If he should leave the cult, he could be a threat to us. What is it you feel should be done? Get rid of the girl. Hasty. We'll uh, wait a few days. As you say. Are you going home? Huh? 
Not directly, no. I have to go back to the shop for a few minutes. Good night, my dear. Good night. Remarkable, the pain's gone. And outside of being a little weak from too much bed rest, I feel fine. How on earth did you... <laughs> All right, I won't ask any more questions. Rick, will I see you again? All right. I understand. Goodbye, Rick. Well, how do you feel today? Fine. That's good. I brought you some coffee. If you need anything else, just ring the bell. Prepare some drinks for us. I'm expecting Mr. Turner. Hello, darling. I got your message. It sounded urgent. Frank is calling a meeting at 10.30 tonight. 
Well, what's up? We don't question Frank. We just obey. Aren't you going to kiss me? You witch. You beautiful, evil witch. I'm never going to let you go. Remember that. I never want to go. You remember that. What's going on? You love me? You know I do. It's odd, isn't it? How sometimes the things we do so innocently can be misinterpreted. Like what? For instance, you might completely misunderstand your close contact with Miss Trent lately. So well, that's it. It's true, isn't it? You've been to see her. You've spoken with her on the phone. Listen to me. Maybe once I thought I was in love with Donna, but that's over with. Is it? What do you think? I think I'd like to be sure. How much proof do you need? Every waking minute you're on my mind. Even when I sleep, I can't shake you. You're all around me. In the air. In the rain and in the sunlight. You're as much me as I am. begin. The great Gamba has been offended. He demands retribution. There is a traitor among us. Someone in this room does not belong. The devil god has been betrayed. Traitor! Hear me well. You have been discovered. Gamba knows which one you are. At midnight tonight, you shall die. Gamba will be avenged. We shall meet again here at 12.30. One of you will not be among us.
great gambler, justice has been done. Your unworthy servant has been eliminated. Let gambler's betrayer serve as an example for the rest of you. The traitor Lindell did not believe. He was here to expose us. He was going to publicize us and maliciously attack the great devil god. The danger is past. The intruder has been removed from our midst. One moment, please. You will stay. Come here. The light is better and there's something I want you to see. Believe me, Frank. Francis, I had no How idea. long have you been with us now? Well, over a year. Over a year. When you can still be so foolish, so dangerously careless. But he lied to me, too. I didn't know he was a newspaper man. Here are some of the notes he was making. Not very flattering, are they? If I would have known, I, I wouldn't have sponsored him. I swear it. Would you be good enough to get your doll from the shelf? Just a moment. Bianca, it's Mary calling from the hospital. Thank you. Hello, Mary. Thank you for calling. I don't think you'll be needing you any longer at the hospital. How did you hear about it? She was only discharged a few minutes ago. Discharged? That's impossible. I see. Just a minute. Goodbye, Mary. Goodbye. Rick, how nice of you to come for me. Well, don't be nice to me, Donnie. You're just making things more difficult. She just left. Mr. Turner picked her up. Thank you, Mary. Seems your first suspicions were correct. There's no doubt now, but it was Rick who was in here the other evening. I shall have to use greater discretion in passing out keys. What do you intend doing with that? If you don't mind, I have my own plans for it. As you wish. Then this, this gesture is just for old time's sake? Something like that. Pretty fancy car. Belongs to a friend of mine. I know I owe you some sort of explanation, but there's very little I can say. Don, I want you to leave. Leave this town. Move away, far away. From me. But why? I can't give you any explanations that would make any sense. Just believe me. For your own sake and for mine, Donna, I'm asking you to leave. All right.
Donna. Can you hear me, Donna? Yes. Who are you? It's not easy to reach you. But I'm beginning to. Donna. calling you all evening. I'm sorry, some things to attend to. You might have at least let me know. Don't be angry, darling. I said I'm sorry. Worshippers of the great devil god Gamba, another full moon is above us. It is a time to pass judgment, a time to offer sacrifice, a time to test the unworthy. One among you must be called upon to prove his loyalty, to erase all doubt. Bring in the subject. This young girl is to be the sacrifice. You stare at her without recognition, but there is one here who knows her. She was a part of his past, a past he should have deserted when he declared himself to Gamba. I did, I swear it. Why then did you enter these premises one night under the veil of darkness? Why then did you remove the pin from the doll there by administering the cure? I have not been disloyal. Bianca, tell him. You've got to believe me. Oh, great Gamba, he asks for your trust. This unworthy servant begs to be believed. It is for you to say. Step forward. Prove yourself. It shall be your hand that turns the wheel. My hand. Then I am to blame if the sword... Blame? This is not a question of blame. This is a question of royalty. Spin the wheel. But why her? Test me if you must. That is precisely what we are doing. Have you forgotten your oath of allegiance? You swore to follow the commands without question, though it meant someone's destruction, perhaps even your own. Spin the wheel.
She knows. Look at her eyes. It's all her doing. I warned you of the danger, but you wouldn't listen. You speak of a choice. There's no choice here. That knife is set to kill. Murderers. All of you. Come on. You're safe and free of it. Are you free of it, too? Yes, darling, we both are. That's what he thinks. 